Hey and welcome to another tutorial. This time we will try to create this twirls and curls text effect in Microsoft Word. And the tutorial itself comes from my free ebook 7 best text effects in Microsoft Word. I will paste the link in the description. As you can see the tutorial only takes two pages inside the book, so it should be fairly easy to create in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. We will start with a blank document in Microsoft Word and insert a new text shape. So select insert shapes text shape and make it fairly big. I will type in curls and change the font to be Gabriela. That should be already pre-installed on your system. I will change the size to maybe 150, set the alignment to center and for the text box itself I will set the outline a shape fill to be no fill and outline to be no outline. Then I will zoom out a little bit, move it to the center of the document copy paste it, move it a little bit to the bottom, insert the end symbol, which is this one, copy paste it one more time, and I will type in the second word, which is swirls in my case, like this. Now I'll position everything the way I like it. And if I want to select all three text boxes, the easier way, easiest way is to select the home ribbon, select objects tool, and draw a big selection rectangle like this, maybe even bigger. And now I have everything selected so I can move it to the center of the document. As the next steps, I will also draw a helper text box and insert a few of those special characters from the font Gabriela. So I'll select insert, symbol, more symbols. And in the bottom of the symbols page we should see some swirls but we are not seeing anything. That's because we have the viewing option set to ASCII which only displays first 256 characters from the font. We need to switch this to Unicode so we can access all the different glyphs. I will scroll down and here you can see we have a lot of different swirls so I will insert a few of them. I will probably not use all of them, but just to have something to choose from. So I'll double click on each of those. Close this dialog and now, now I should have all those swirls and different shapes in this helper text box. So I will duplicate one of those text boxes without the outline and without the fill and paste some random character. Set the size to be 150. And all I need to do now is to position, make it uh, of course big enough to accommodate for the shape itself and position it anywhere on the screen just you know the way I like it. Actually I don't like this shape very much so I can easily replace it. And when I paste it I can still set that I want only the character to be pasted so I will not lose the information about the size. So if I select keep text only it's not working, but I can probably select merge formatting. Okay, here we go. If I select merge formatting, the size of the font will be kept. I like this shape much better, so I'll place it like this. And in the few next minutes, I will copy paste this shape and again paste any of those special characters and keep the formatting change so I don't have to change the size of the font anytime I paste this from my helper text box. I will probably pause the video for a minute and do this one more or a few more times. Okay, I'm back. I've done this a few more times and I've created four different text objects, text boxes. You can see that some of them, especially this one, is being rotated just so I can use a rotated shape. If you want to have access to all of those different shapes, it's sometimes quite hard to select the outline just because we can't see the outline, so the easiest way how to select the uh, text boxes is to select home ribbon, select drop down and selection pane, and here we see all the text boxes which we have in the document, and just by clicking the items in the list we can select those. One more thing which is inside the book is to add those uh, random shapes, which will cause the text being faded a little bit, so we can quickly add this as well. We will select insert shapes and freeform tool and what we, will, what we will do is we will draw random shapes around the entire document like this. 
we can end the drawing by pressing the enter key right click and select format shape and in here we will set the color to be white with maybe 10 pixels and transparency maybe i don't know 60 or so and we can repeat this process a few more times so we get the random shades of the text and the curls around so again i will press the enter key to stop drawing set the color to be white with to maybe i don't know maybe 15 pixels points and transparency to maybe 70 percent and i will do this one more time so we have some randomness one more time press the enter key set the color to be white with this time maybe five points and transparency i don't know 70 or so and we have some little bit of variation going on you know trying to simulate the ink although it doesn't look like ink at all but you know it's been done in five minutes so i guess it's fine for that and that's it for today thanks for watching